Hello, my name is Isabella Duran Soriano and I'm with the WCLA. It's Saturday, June 1st, 1940 on the Hollywood Bowl stage. We are here on stage to speak with Root St. Dennis and Ted Sean before the first outdoor opening performance reunited together to collaborate. These two amazing dancers created the Dennis Sean School in 1915. They are known for being influenced by different cultures, especially Asian countries. So let's begin our interview. How did you each begin dancing? I began with Del Sarte poses, which transitioned <clears throat> into um, dancing. And I myself began uh, taking dance after succumbing to about a diphtheria, which uh, was suggested to me as a form of rehabilitation. What were some of the styles of dance techniques encouraged at the Dennis Sean School? Oriental and primitive dances. But you also must not forget, we also teach dances from all cultures. How do you two feel about classical ballet? It's absolutely lovely, but it's just not my style. That's indeed correct. Classical ballet is beautiful, but we work on a more freestyle form of dance with added culture from around the world. Can you each name a prominent and successful student that attended Denison? I would like to say a spectacular successful male dancer would be Charles Weedman. And I myself would have to say Martha Graham has gone on to be very successful herself. When did you, Ted Sean, establish your all-male dance troupe? I established the troupe in March of 1933, where I proceeded to take them on tours to various theaters and colleges all throughout the United States. Is there anywhere in the world where you would like the opportunity to dance? I would like to dance at the foot of the Sphinx in Egypt. And that's what I like to dance in Antarctica, simply to say that I could. Will you two ever give up dancing? No, I will never stop until my body can't, won't let me stop, dance anymore. It would be the only time I would stop dancing. I myself would like to believe I could dance forever. Are you excited for the performance tonight, teaming together on this beautiful stage to bring dance to our community? <clears throat> yes, we are family, Ted and I, and all of our dancers, and this is a great opportunity to dance and make memories together. Yes, this truly is a gift for us all, as well to the community. We get to see these amazing dancers perform their beautifully choreographed pieces. Well, that is all for this evening. Thank you to Ruth St. Dennis and Ted Sean for joining me for this interview. So there are still tickets available, so come see the show. Signing off from the Hollywood Bowl, Isabella Duran Soriano.